I'm standing in a great feature of the home that we're going to tour today. You don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. everybody, it's Amy with Heart & Home Orlando and today we are finally taking a look at the gorgeous Thoreau model here at Silverleaf. This is a Meritage community. Actually, there's a few builders in here, but this is the Meritage community. This is the Meritage model. This is a fantastic new community here in the Horizon West area in Winter Garden. So this is the Thoreau and boy is it beautiful. So I've actually been through this home before. Um, they've used this as a model in other communities and I love seeing it decorated each and every time because there are so many ways to kind of utilize the space and to decorate it. I tell you what, this is an absolute stunner. So this home, the Thoreau, has an option of a bonus room that we're going to see here in this model. So the square footage without it is a little over 3,000, like 3,075 square feet. When you add that bonus room, which we're going to see here shortly, it's going to be closer to like 3,400 square feet. So a nice size home, four bedrooms, three and a half baths, two car garage. Let's get started. So first of all, beautiful for your... Sorry, did you lock the door? Sorry, I just pulled in the drawer. I did. Okay, cool. Yeah. So let's okay. get started. Yeah. So let's get started. So you enter in here. Let's get started. Pause because okay. I have to cut there. Okay. So let's get started. So as soon as you come in here to the entryway, you're going to have something that you don't see a lot of anymore, but I tell you what, I love it. And it's the formal living room or dining room sitting area type of an effect here. With these homes that are open and connected, this is my perfect example of how to do it right. And of course, Meritage always does it right. So this space is open and connected, but it is also divided with designated spaces. So this space here up front is nice little sitting area. I love the way that they have it staged. It's actually kind of perfect, right? You've got a nice little spot. Neighbors come by, friends come by. You don't really want them into the main living space, the home, but you've got a great little spot right here up front to kind of sit and chat, feeling welcoming, but also not letting them all the way into your business. Back over here is going to be that formal dining room. You know, we always have these mixed uh, conversations with clients as to whether or not they want this. And in every single case, they say that they don't use it all the time, but they really still want it. They want this space for those big, larger get-togethers, even if it's not a space to sit and gather around. It's a great space for kind of the buffet type of an effect. I tell you what, if you're entertaining, this is absolutely the floor plan to do it in. So nice, big, open foyer right off the bat, big open space, formal living room and dining room, and then we pop over here into the main hub of the home. Stairs are over here to my right, to your left, but here we are in the main hub. So let's take a peek at this. So right over here to my left is going to be the two-car garage. Now the garage door entrance is tucked back over here. It's actually there sales office, so we're not going to open that door, but it is a two-car garage. When you come in, over here is going to be a bathroom, which has the pool bath door. So if you decide to add that outdoor living space, you have the opportunity to have a restroom right there, easy convenience. So here's your family room space. Again, beautiful. Taking a look at the design of this home, not so much the interior design, but the architectural design. I love that you have these doors right over here. You've got, in this case, you've got like the French doors, but you have lots of options, op lots of window space open, let that sunshine flood right on in. So great amount of space right here just to kind of sit and situate your sofas or your sectionals or your recliners. Great space here. Now, one of my favorite things with the Thoreau floor plan is right over here. So I'm a big fan of angles. I know that you know this, but this is absolute perfection in Amy's book. So this is kind of like a mock bay window type of an effect. So this little kind of curvature type of an area over here is perfect. And the way they have this stage with the round table is, again, it's perfect. You can see here that they've got five chairs. You could fit six if you wanted to. Of course, you don't have to use a round table at all. You could actually incorporate built-in bench seating if that's something that you wanted to do after the, after the fact. But I tell you what, this little designated space is fantastic. And again, with the windows to enjoy that view, absolute winner in my book. Now over here is going to be your kitchen space. So if you take a look at the cabinet configuration, in this case, they've gone all the way up to the ceiling, which is an option. You know, Meritage uses these beautiful design collections. So it's not necessarily pre-designed packages. They are, but they have a lot of versatility built into them, which is pretty much the perfect example of how to go about doing some sort of a pre-packaged design uh, scenario for you. 
So taking a look again, you see your cabinet, your counter space, you've got cabinets that they've taken all the way up to the ceiling, which is absolutely an option for you. Now over here is another great feature of this thorough floor plan. This is a space directly off of the kitchen. It's not your formal dining room because you already have that up front. It's not your informal dining because you have that right over there with that like mock bay window. This is an extra little bonus space. So the the versatility of it is just, it's endless. So if you need it as an office, the way they kind of have it staged here, I think it's a fantastic spot right off the kitchen. You can get some day-to-day -day work done. If you've got little ones, this is a great spot to kind of designate it as a little play area. So they're right here in the middle of you being able to pay attention to them, but a lot of, a lot of room for activity and storage. It could be a reading nook. It could be a music room. It could be a library. It could be whatever you want or need it to be. Great space over here. And again, back over there, you can see that there was a two car garage the drop zone and then that bathroom so let's take a peek upstairs upstairs you're gonna have the real fun zone as well as the bedroom so upstairs you're gonna have four bathrooms and three full baths so when we come up the stairs the way this home is laid out and again they call it a garage swing whether or not your garage is on the right or on the left so this home could actually be reversed but for our purposes we're gonna turn to the right and when we turn to the right right over here is going to be bedroom number one so bedrooms number one and two are gonna be connected by a Jack and Jill so take a look at the amount of space in here you know I love the little design I ideas too. These shelves, so practical, take up very little space, but provide you a lot of storage and decor options. So great bedroom. That's a little design tip on the side, but the space, nice size bedroom, closet, nice big window to let that sun in. So over here, you're going to have one of my favorite versions of a Jack and Jill, which is this separated dual sink. So over here, this child or this guest is going to have their own sink, mirror, cabinet, counter, lights, linen closet, Bedroom two over there is going to have their own sink, cabinet, counter, mirror, vanity lights, and then the privacy door for the toilet and the tub and the shower. And then over here is in bedroom two. So this, again, nice bedroom, nice amount of size. You've got the big window. And this exterior elevation, keep in mind, they don't all come with this, but this exterior elevation is going to have this little balcony off of it. So keep that in mind when you're looking at those design options and those structural options. So again, these bedrooms, one and two, are connected by a private Jack and Jill. So no one else is going to access or utilize those restrooms. Coming back down the hallway, remember the stairs were right there. We're going to turn this direction. Over here to my left is going to be another full bath. So this is full bath number two upstairs. Nice big full bathroom right here. This one is going to have the shower and then we're going into another bedroom. So again, thinking about kind of your family dynamic, would you be using this for a child or for a guest or is it a, you know, just the, the vacation or room when you've got those in-laws that are coming in? This is another room. So we have three bedrooms thus far, right? Two with a Jack and Jill, this one with another full bath directly outside. Now, one of the favorite pieces of this particular floor plan is the option of this bonus room. And we're definitely going to take a look at it because I can't imagine that you would want to build the room without it. So tucked back over here is going to be this opportunity. Now, remember, this is not included with the floor plan. It is a structural option that you would have to choose. But again, why would you not choose this? Look at the amount of space in here. So you talk about your loft space or your game room space or that extra fun zone. This is it here in this particular floor plan. Big window along the back, big windows along the side. You can make this a media room if you want. Do those blackout curtains or keep it nice, bright, open, make it slash work slash fun zone. Here's my favorite thing. Are you ready? Here it is. It's a door. I love the fact that for this particular game room, for this fun zone, you actually have a door that you can shut to keep the noise out. If you want to just crank up the volume on that movie or if you just want to have some quiet time this is a great thing to be able to shut the door and to make this room kind of private so one of my favorite things and then continuing on right across the hall you're going to have your laundry room so a nice big laundry room nice and long which is great because you can see as they have the model home shown you've got upper cabinets as well as lower cabinets and a utility sink again those are options that you can choose but why wouldn't you it's a fantastic way to really maximize the use of that so continuing on here down to the end of the hall we have that primary that master bedroom so um, closet number one tucked right over here nice amount of space and then coming up over here you've got the big bedroom now this one is showing you with the tray ceiling love this tray and by the way that is an extra deep tray ceiling I'm looking at that right now and it's not the same depth of a tray it's super deep which is really 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 elevating not only the space but obviously your point of view you're definitely having your eyes drawn up so huge room here lots of space for the bed the nightstands dressers chest of drawers tucked back over here with these double doors is going to be the 
that primary bathroom. So right here, again, beautiful. I love that you can just keep these doors open because it's still private and it's not with an eye shot of anyone that might be walking down the hall. So little tip there. But again, I like this because the two vanities are separate. Each has their own zone. Larger vanity on this side, more space here, counter cabinet for either the makeup or all of the other products. Smaller one over here, but still plenty of room. Nice big shower, gorgeous, love that. And then a privacy door for the toilet. And then you know what? We're not done because that was one closet, but here's closet number two. So a nice big walk-in closet tucked back in the room. This one's a little bit bigger than the other, so guess that's going to be mine. All right, guys, so we are finished with this Thoreau tour. Remember, we are here at Silverleaf. This is a Meritage community, uh, and we are right by Hamlin Elementary and Hamlin Middle School, the two new schools that were just built, just opened. This is a great location here in the Horizon West area, and as always, Meritage is an incredibly energy-efficient builder. Lots of things that they're going to want to tell you about, but before you reach out to them, call me first at 407 848 8042. As always, we appreciate you watching. We hope the video was helpful. Please stay safe, stay well. Remember, we love you and happy house hunting.